Yo guys, what is up? Mr. Dipping Gamer here with you today, bringing you a brand new video. Uh, like I promised in my previous two videos, I would be bringing you another loadout video. This loadout video, of course, is going to be support, and I'm going to go through the four weapons that I enjoy the most, starting with four, going all the way to my number one gun. Um, this time it's going to be a little different. I'll explain it once I get there. Um, so, And then I'll go ahead and run through my class's loadout. So we'll go ahead and check that out. So let's go ahead and switch over now. All right, guys, we are here. We are going to be looking at my top four guns for this class. And like I said previously, uh, the number four position is going to be a little bit different. I was going to make it the same as pretty much my engineer class where I'm just going to have the carbines in the top two, but I actually like some of the LMGs, so what I'm going to do for this one is my number four is actually going to be my carbine, but just know that in certain situations it would be my number one, so like if I'm playing TDM, it'd be my number one in, in the carbine. Uh, if I'm playing other game modes, I usually go with the LMG just because I can put down suppressive fire. So. For number four, it's actually going to be two guns. It's the Ace 52 CQB and the AK 5C. Both very fantastic guns. I love them both. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. <coughs> yeah, the Ace 52 and the AK 5C. Both fantastic carbines. So now. We're going to jump right into the LMGs. I actually have three favorite LMGs, and I will explain why. The uh, n uh, number three uh, gun is actually the M240. Now, of course, on this one, I don't have anything unlocked for it as that I just unlocked it in this game on the PC. But in uh, the PS4, I used to play with it all the time, and I was rocked with the hollow sight. Uh, the, I usually went with the magnifier two-time sight, uh, just so I can put fire down long range but it, it really never really helped uh, uh, the muzzle break and then I always use the stubby grip for, for LMGs so that's my loadout for the M240B it's a fantastic gun lots of lo lots of uh, firing potential and it's a very powerful gun so now on to my number two gun that would actually be the M249 you get this from unlocking it in the campaign mode um, so it's a fantastic gun no accessory but normally I would run the uh, magnifier two times sight uh, we got the muzzle brake and the stubby grip again for this gun so this is the one that I've mostly been using with uh, the support class on the PC just to unlock the rest of them um, it's a fantastic gun for medium to long range uh, giving them just suppressing them a little bit it's 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 still powerful enough to get a kill but uh it's it's not the best lmg so second gun m249 now on to the number one gun in the game the one that i just absolutely demolish with uh it's actually going to be and you probably guessed it the pkp pinch pinchneg pinchneg i i I butchered that name, I know. But it's this gun right here, it's a fantastic little powerful weapon. Um, I have played with it in the PS4 version of the game, I, and I'm doing the reviews on the PC version just because I can record at better quality. That's the only reason why. But I usually rock the Coyote sight on this, the two-time magnifier sight, uh, muzzle brake, and of course the stubby grip again, but of course I don't have anything unlocked for it, seeing that I just unlocked it. But yeah, that's going to be my number one game, uh, number one gun for the support class, and it's just it's a fantastic freaking gun, guys. Like if you get a chance and you unlock this, it's it's super powerful for the support class. So let's go ahead and check out what I'm rocking with for the kit. So we're going to see the secondary weapon is my G18, even though I always go between the G18, the M412 Rex, or the M9. Uh, those are just my three pref, uh, preferred handguns. Uh, of course, you got to rock with the ammo box on this one. And now, the gadget number two always switches up. Sometimes, if I'm playing like TDM or something, I'll go with the airburst, or um, or I'll go with uh, the M18 clay, uh, claymores if we're playing like campy, like a little campy style. 
and if I'm playing Rush or uh, uh, Large Conquest or Conquest for that matter, I'll rock with the mortar and, and hit those long range mortar shots. Uh, recently with this class I was playing Conquest, so uh, I, I love the mortars, man. I, I know the mortars in Battlefield 3 were really powerful. These, eh, not so much. So, of course, we got the M67 frag, uh, fantastic grenade, easy one, one, uh, one explode kill, I guess you could say. Uh, we have the weaver knife, the defensive upgrade, only because you get that uh, reduce incoming damage to your chest by 10%, uh, so they can't, like, one-shot you in the chest from up close. I don't think they can anyways, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> and camouflage, of course, doesn't matter. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. This is Mr. Dippin' Gamer, signing off. See you guys in the next video.